Do you ever nail it? Making something spectacular to eat, a great outfit, fantastic hair day, super makeup day where the blend looks like it was your job. Have you ever nailed a scent to a mood or something that's going on in the weather? I'm Yulia Graham. This is Sensiblings.ca, where the .ca stands for Canada and the Sense Siblings stands for you, my wonderful scent brother, scent sister, and non-binary scent sibling. Welcome. I nailed it. I ordered five perfume oils from Oil Perfumery and they came in an envelope yesterday and if you are interested in how I feel about these Oil Perfumery oils, please let's go. I want to talk to you about the five scents that I got and how I feel about them. The first one is Casmarati 1888 Lyra their inspired version of it, of course. If the Zerzhov Lyra smells half as good as this scent, then it is money well spent buying both. This is something that I cannot get enough of. It's amazing. I usually have trouble when I first sniff something. The only exception was Delina and this. This is gorgeous. To quote my husband who said the following words in this order all at the same time, I don't think you should be allowed to smell this good. This is a gourmand perfume that is actually something that you might want to eat. It is lemon based but it's not the kind of lemon that's tart and it's not the kind of lemon that's overly sweet and it's not the kind of lemon that's bitter in any way shape or form it's the kind of lemon that you remember from something or somewhere but you can't put your finger on it and that's even nicer because the more you think about it the more you can't put your finger on it the more you think of the person on whom you smelled it or even the memory of when you put it on yourself the oil perfumery inspired version of Casmarati 1888 Lyra makes my heart sing. It's four degrees outside. It's raining. You can almost touch the clouds. They're hanging so low. It's my favorite kind of day to wear something sweet, but not too sweet. It's not too sweet. This is lemon. This is vanilla and I'm getting chocolate in there. This is gorgeous. If you put this into your cart for oil perfumery, just leave me a message down below and then find me on Instagram and tell me when you get it. You are welcome. In my five out of five haul, mini haul, of my oil perfumeries, I want to talk to you about the second one, which is Spiritus Double Vanille. Now this is the oil perfumery version of this scent and I think they couldn't have named it any better. What I'm getting here is the perfect name for this scent. Spiritus to me uh, would refer to your soul or your spirit but also the spirit of an alcohol. Some kind of boozy yumminess and then the double vanille part to me double vanilla. I'm getting a very very sweet pure vanilla but I'm also getting spicy vanilla as if it were infused with something. This is wonderful. I crave warmth right now in a scent. I crave a scent for sitting at home with my husband watching hockey, cooking, all those things that we do in the evening. This is wonderful. I can see wearing this out too. This is a wonderful warm spicy scent. Spiritus du Vanille, the oil perfumery inspired version. Just beautiful. All of these have a wonderful lasting power. I am doused in the first one and I have it. Um, I'll put a card up with the video where I talk about how I use these. I just want to put a huge shout out here to Yana from The Scented who 
brought these into my life. Thank you so much. The Mojave Ghost Inspired Version by Byredo. The oil perfumery version of this, my classic Kleenex, smells wonderful. It's fruity at the top and it is musky. It's what you want something that's called Mojave Ghost to smell like. This would be a wonderful scent to use in your home as well as per video that I will put up in the cards because I know how. This would be a nice scent for your home to put in your vacuum to make your home smell good, to put in your diffuser. It's lovely. It's absolutely inoffensive. You could wear this anytime, anywhere. It's not too serious. It's a lovely scent and I'm getting fruit at the top it's gorgeous. I don't have much else to say about it. It's a lovely scent that reminds me, again, of something wonderful. So Mojave Ghost, thumbs up. Two more to go. Here I have the second Byredo impersonation. It's called Bal d'Afrique. Gorgeous. I'm getting citrus. I don't know where to smell. <laughs> I'm getting citrus. Citrus. I think this is my favorite thing in perfumery is a citrus at the top, a floral mid middle, and then a woody base. That's what this is, the Bal d'Afrique. I don't have anything else to say about this one because it smells wonderful. This would smell wonderful on your body. It would smell wonderful in your hair. It would smell wonderful in your home. Byredo, if you smell half as good as this, I'm coming for you. Full bottle, bring it. The final one is one that I am going to have the absolute pleasure to review side by side with the original. And I'll tell you why that is when it happens. This is the Feve Delicieuse that people talk about and it, I, can, I can totally tell why they would call it Feve Delicieuse. It is intoxicating. It's deep. It's warm. And uh, I talk about my husband a lot. I'm sorry, that's quite cringy probably. My husband said the following words in this order. That smells exactly like cherry Pepsi. Not cherry Coke, not Dr. Pepper. Cherry Pepsi. Listen, when you're that specific, you know what you're talking about. He knows himself a good Cherry Pepsi. This is lovely and it's wonderful. This one smells totally different when you just smell the oil than it does on your skin. When this one dries down, it becomes gorgeous. It loses that Cherry Pepsi and it just retains the spice. It's the almond note, of course, that makes this one smell like a Cherry Pepsi. <gasps> it's so lovely. These Oil perfumery oils are spectacular. They last a long time. They can be used in so many different ways. And when you get one, you're going to want the full bottle of the original as well. That's, I think that if I were buying from a different, in a different way, um, a different kind of inspired version, you wouldn't need both. You would, you would probably get the inspired version and either get rid of it eventually to buy the real thing or never buy the real thing. I want both. I'm so happy to have these in my life. Thank you so much to Oil Perfumery for creating these. I know that people have different opinions about companies that produce inspired versions and I really do think that the spirit in which you spend your money is what you're putting into the universe. They're not trying to trick anybody and neither am I. When I purchase these, I use them for the different uses that I have spoken about in a different video. It is my absolute pleasure to purchase these and give oil perfumery some of my money and to be buying a full bottle of at least four of these. Of all of them, clearly the inspired version of Lyra is the one that has stolen my heart today.
This is gorgeous. I'm Yulia Graham, and this is SentSiblings.ca. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'm really excited to say I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.